What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Joe here from Blue Line Woodworks and I just wanted to throw together a quick video about engraving leather with the JTEC laser. Now, when I mean quick, this is going to be a very quick video. I'm recording this on my phone. I'm recovering from the flu, so nothing fancy here. I'm using the 4.2 watt JTEC laser attached to my Shapoko XXL CNC machine and I'm using the Lightburn software. So I'll be engraving my logo three times on a piece of vegetable tan leather. I'm gonna show you the settings in Lightburn, I'm gonna show you the laser in action, and I'm gonna show you the results. Before I did this, I searched Google, forums, all that, and I couldn't find the settings to engrave leather. So hopefully this video will just skip all that for you guys and you can get right into engraving leather. I'm not saying that these are the optimal settings because I haven't done this very much, but I got good results. So let's just dive right into it and I hope this video helps you guys out. All right, y'all, so here is the Lightburn software. I have a six inch by six inch piece set up on here, which is the size of the piece of leather that I'm using. And I've just divided it into four quadrants and I only ended up using three of them because this one right here was the ideal engraving that I liked and that I'm going to go with. So just getting into the settings, as you can see up here, right, there's red and black. Red is for scan and black is for cut. So I'm not going to be cutting anything on this. I'm just going to be scanning. And what scanning means, if you guys are unfamiliar with the Lightburn software, is when I preview it, scanning is going to engrave everything in between the lines that are selected. So all the black area here, that's gonna, that's what will be engraved. So when I engraved these two, this top and the bottom left here, the settings that I used were 60 inches per minute at 100% power. Now when I engraved those two, this overscanning right here, I had that on, and that was at two and a half percent. So overscanning just protects the edges from burning because the laser turns on and off so it just helps mitigate the amount of burning at the edges so here are just the other settings i didn't really mess with these these are what i use on everything that i engrave it's just one pass no z offset no angle lines per inch 253.81 and line interval this number right here i don't even know what any of that means to be honest with you but i scan all shapes at once that is selected there. Now when I did this logo in the bottom right, go ahead and select that to show you all what this one looks like. I used the exact same settings but I turned the overscanning off because when I engraved this one with the overscanning on, the letters were too small and you couldn't really see it and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when I show you the finished product. But the exact same settings, 60 inches per minute at 100% power with the 4.2 watt laser, one pass, and it turned out really nice. So I'll show y'all the final result, and this will be a wrap. Alrighty y'all, so here are the three test pieces that I used. Again, everything was cut at 60 inches per minute at 100% power with the 4.2 watt laser. Now, when I initially did these two, I definitely liked this look a lot more, but as you can see, the letters are very hard to see. So all I did in the Lightburn software was go in and put a slight offset in these letters to make them bigger, and then I turned that overscanning off. So when I engraved this one, it was still 60 inches per minute at 100% power, but that overscanning was off. And as you can see, that is pretty good right there. Now, I'm just going to cut this out by hand, um, but I might test it with a laser to see if it can cut through. This is about an eighth of an inch thick vegetable tan leather, but I'm probably just going to cut it by hand because I don't want to mess it up. But this is going to go on a shop apron. So I hope this video helped you guys a little bit. If you have any other JTEC questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or message me on Instagram. But 
Thank you guys as always for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you know when I drop more videos, especially not planned ones like this one. But that's it. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. So I did attempt to cut these squares out with the laser. This is 15 passes at 10 inches per minute, 100% power, and it only got like a quarter of the way down. So I'm going to say that the JTEC is not a viable option for cutting leather, but engraving it looks pretty good. Cutting, not so much. Just wanted to throw that in there. Catch y'all next time.